and welcome to another Epic Games free game of the week review and this week it is Wolfenstein. This is an older game. Um, $25 price tag. It's not bad uh, for being an older game that still works pretty good. Uh, let's get in there and uh, show you the gameplay. Um, I played the original a long long time ago and this is toned down and this is way more story based. Uh, so there's a lot of story going on for cutscenes and stuff like that, but this is where I'm at right now. I wanted to show it to you right now. So this is the gameplay. You're running around like this. Uh, basic shooter. Uh, you're by yourself. There's a storyline and stuff like that you got to follow. So it's pretty uh, limited. The uh, doors will open up later on type thing to get into uh, your uh, wherever you're going. You have different weapons you can you can uh, scroll through and there's like things like silencers and all that kind of things that you would expect from a normal uh, game like this so, you know a normal shooter game you have different things you can crouch you can do little things like you know uh, lean and uh, dock and stuff like that to shoot and silence kills you can sneak up on guys and stab them in the back you can throw the knives at them and you got a silenced pistol you got grenades all that kind of fun stuff uh, to go along with the storyline and there's lots of other little things you got to find you know you got to collect all the items and stuff off the ground and things like that and uh, Get all your ammo and stuff like that and melee boxes open to get stuff that's in there and things like that and uh, I'll show you that basic uh, gameplay right now this is a combat area up here you can zoom in and scope it's not very good uh, and I missed them totally I can't, can't can't see very well with the scope like this I wish there was another way to do it, it would, that would be nice yeah they keep popping up like that I hear some footsteps, I think. Hard to hear them. Uh, health packs, you can overcharge your health packs. And I'll also... Oh, yeah, there he's coming. Come on. And i got to try and get the achievements by holding the control button there and uh, leaning and stuff like that. And getting the uh, kills. Because that goes off with this part right here. And let's show you that right now. Uh, that is a journal. You go to your journal and there's no notes and there's collectibles and your tutorials. There's lots of other things. And there's perks. And that's what I was talking about here. The perks right here is uh, you have to do uh, certain functions to unlock them. Like uh, assault rifle kills using aim. And I wasn't even aiming to kill most of the guys because, you know, that big huge gun is in your way. You can't see very well. And I didn't really need that. So, well, yeah, there's headshots to unlock different perks. And, like, this will increase your speed with weapons equipped. And if you overcharge your health, you get better health regeneration and all that kind of stuff. You can go through this. But it's just, it's not just a basic, you know, shoot and do nothing. You have, you can dual wield and, you know, a whole dual wield thing. Kill guys will dual wielding. You unlock this perk and get better stuff for it. So you get, get progression. So there is some progression in this game, which makes it kind of neat, uh, you know over the top of other basic shooters and it still functions and it works pretty good still even though it's old and stuff right so even though this is an older game you can still run around and sneak around and kill guys stealthily if you want to and uh, charge into different areas if you want and you can pick up mounted weapons in this game and uh, take them off and use them if you want to go in with a heavy gun and kill stuff if if the place calls for it but you can sneak around and destroy boxes well some of the boxes you can there you go Destroy boxes and stuff to get in there. Get more grenades. You can't hold very much ammo and stuff like that. So it's always constantly doing that as you progress through this game. So yeah, this is a pretty good game. It's definitely worth downloading for free, obviously. If you like shooting games, you definitely want to want to try, try this game out. That's for sure. Uh, we can sneak in here, see if we find anybody to kill. Uh, whatever my quest is, open the gates. And which would be over here, I guess. So yeah, you can sneak around. You can go with your stealth pistol, I guess. That might be better. And see if there's any guys in here that are sneaking. There's an auto save feature. And you it's loaded by checkpoints. I should mention that. So you have checkpoints and you can reload your checkpoints if you don't like how you did it. Like if uh, you charge in there and you say, oh, I just you know got torn up because all of the guys that keep running in at me. And I didn't like that. So uh, you're going to reload it. And stuff. Oh, there, that's your guy there. So he can see me. But yeah, silence pistol, it took care of him. Uh, and I forgot to hit the uh, control button. Well, I changed it to control. I don't like the controls on most of these things. Like when they don't use C for crouch for default. Oh, there's another one. Uh, let's see if I can do that and lean that way. There you go. Almost got the alarm off there from me waiting. But yeah, that is how the this game is played. There's, there's other secret areas and stuff. Oh. Oh, you didn't die from that? Damn, so. 
took a little extra damage I didn't want to take. But that's okay. Yeah, and, and all the damage goes off of your armor first. And so that's one of the things you got to keep up in this game if you're going to play it. But yeah, this is definitely interesting to play. The storyline is kind of a hindrance on the uh, the cutscenes and how long they are. But I guess you got to have a kind of story to actually, you know, make it different and play the game at least. So it's not horribly bad and, you know, everybody dies all the time. And not just mindlessly killing people. But yeah, overall, this is a pretty decent game. I would give it, like, you know, a solid 7 out of 10. Um... And just for regular gameplay, oh crap, where am I getting shot from? Just for solid game gameplay, I would give this a, a solid a, a seven out of ten. And uh, let's see if I can throw a knife item. I don't care if I get hurt here. I got no more. Okay, okay, I'm gonna die here. See if I <laughs> screw around like this. Where's my wall? There we go. Now we died. There you go. So when you die, you can just reload your last checkpoint. Pretty easy. I just wanted to show you that. I wanted to fool around. I never really died before, so I wanted to see. Except for the uh, the part where you have to choose between the two of your teammates at the start. You, well, you don't really control your teammates, but you have two guys that are with you. And they say you have to choose which one dies. And so I, I chose none of them. And then they just end up killing them both and you die too. So then you reload your game. So that's what the reloading is. Okay, just back to your checkpoint, which was right here. So that's uh, pretty easy, right? So pretty simple to do that. And I have to get better control of weapon switching. That's for sure, and where they are. And there's the dual wield. So you can run in here heavy if you want. So there's no real long consequences for this stuff. And we can just charge in here. That's right, you gotta use the other mouse button. Hey, where'd you come from? Yeah, I can charge in here. Pretty easy. There's things you can kick out here. I guess you can't kick with that one, but there's grates and stuff like that. But yeah, overall, if you like shooters, this would be a uh, eight out of ten. If you're into shooters and stuff like that, it'd be like a nice solid eight out of ten for gameplay and stuff like that. Yeah, there's something up there to get in there. But yeah, uh, lots of stuff in there. I have to reload my game and whatever and play it for serious. There, stuff like this you gotta keep doing. You make me fall down automatically. Oh, I did a save. I don't want to reload this checkpoint. But yeah, definitely worth a picking up and uh, playing if you're going to play a shooting game. I wonder if these barrels can blow up. Where are you? Where are you going? Signal detected. Yeah, if you're stealthing, they've got signals detected so you know roughly where they are. That there's somebody within a certain range. That's uh, paying attention. There's little hidey holes in the walls too, so it's pretty neat. It's got a lot of little things in there. If you want to play careful and stuff like that. Where is everything? Is this playing level? No. But yeah. Uh, let's just go back here and uh, that's it. That's the review. Uh, nice solid 7 out of 10. If you like uh, gun games, it's, uh, shooting games, it's a nice uh, 8 out of 10. So definitely worth getting and playing. And so yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Now let's kill these guys. Oh, that was a bad throw. You can really even kill them. Wow, tough guys. Run. Where are you? Let's end this video with more death. Yeah, die. Where are you? Oh, no more bullets. No more bullets. Is that a guy up there? Oh, that's the that's your helpful. That's your friend. You can't. I can't shoot him even. <laughs> Where is he? Okay, well I'm gonna end it. Yeah, I'll just end it. Yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Fun's over.